All right, Flick here from the Nerd Soapbox, and today we're at Comic-Con Revolution Ontario with a special guest, Stan Sakai, the creator and artist and writer of the uh, comic book, Usagi Yojimbo. Hey, hi, hi Stan. Flick. How are you doing? Yes, good to see you again. Yeah, it's yeah. been a while. It, it, has, it has, it has. So how's your con so far? It's doing great. Fantastic. Uh, so tell me, uh, Usagi has been published since uh, 1984, mm -hmm. and uh, just this past February, it was announced that Usagi will be leaving Dark Horse, and uh, it'll be published by IDW. That's yeah, right. In a new monthly series. A uh, new monthly color series. Color? Color. Basically, the stories will remain the same. Right. Uh, I've been doing Usagi for 35 years as a writer and artist, right. and it's pretty much a, uh, continuing the life of Usagi. Uh, except now it'll be a color series. Fantastic. Yeah. I love that. Any uh, ideas about the uh, the first stories, the first couple of well, stories you might see? You know, I do a lot of stories about Japanese culture and history. Right. The first story arc will be about um, the Japanese puppet theater, which, oh, yes, right. except the Japanese tradition is very different from the Western. Right. The Western is more slapstick humor, uh, whereas the Japanese uh, bunaku uh, puppet yeah, yeah. theater is uh, was based upon the kabuki uh, oh, theater, yeah. so it's very dramatic, mm. and uh, puppet play can last up to ten or twelve hours long. Whoa! Yeah, it would be really tired, <laughs> really, really tired. That's right. Wow. And, okay, can, can you tell us anything about the animated adaption of uh, Usagi? Well, Usagi is under option by Gamont Films. Gamont is oh. the world's oldest film studio, right. and they're headquartered in uh, Paris. Okay. Uh, also, one of the creative producers is James Wan. James oh. uh, created the uh, Saw series of franchise movies, and he was also the director of the new Aquaman movie. Okay. So he's involved in the project as well. Oh. Right That's now, a good name to have involved. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Right now, it's still under development. Okay, okay. And um, we're all uh, we were all saddened by Stan Stan Lee's passing. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I understand you were the you were the letterer for the uh, the Spider Man newspaper comic for years. I lettered the Spider Man Sandy strips for yeah. about twenty five years, wow. and I enjoyed working with Stan. He was terrific. Um, Whenever I bring in a, a series of strips, he right. would stop whatever he was doing, uh, excuse himself even from business meetings, right. and spend some time with me. He was the nicest guy. And he said, oh, every so often, oh, I have a new book out. And so he'd give me a hardcover book of the new Marvel masterpiece, oh. signed it to me, nice. and everything. And um, such a nice guy. I had once told him, oh, you know, Stan, you're my son's hero because you do the... Uh, uh, he was at that time the spokesman of the Iron Man TV series. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I said, oh, Matthew loves that series, and here he's here because uh, you're involved with it. And the very next day, Stan sent over a huge box of toys, oh. of uh, uh, animation cell art, all signed to Matthew. And oh. there was a backpack that Matthew used at conventions for years. <laughs> And he still has it. It's so sweet. He's a sweet it's guy. Very nice. Such a nice guy. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, geez, Sam. Thanks well, for talking thank to you, us. Flick. All right. All right. Let's see who else we can find to talk to at uh, Comic Con Revolution Ontario. Thank you. Nice to see you again, Flick.